Oh, good morning, my lovers. Uh, it's morning. I hate mornings. But it's brew day. So let's get it on. What we're doing today is I was talking to someone. I can't remember who it was, but I was talking to someone the other day and um, we mentioned Courage Directors. And I thought, oh, that was a bloody good pint. And um, I've made it before and it was good. I enjoyed it. Uh, but never got around to making it since. So anyway, the nights are drawing in. Let's make a darker beer ready for the cooler nights. And um, I thought let's do a Courage Directors. So, gone back to Old Faithful. Graham Wheeler's Brew Your Own British Real Ales, edition three. Um, and there we are, page 140, Courage Directors. So, now, Courage Directors um, was originally brewed for the Ireland, that's A-R-L-A-N-D, where is it, I'm trying to find it, here we are, uh, originally brewed exclusively for the director, oh, for the Alton Brewery, uh, but following demand, the beer was made available to the public. It is described as full-bodied with a clean, bitter taste balanced with a sweet, burnt, malty and fruity notes with a distinctive dry hop aroma and flavour. So, going to the late Mr Wheeler's book, there's no dry hop additions. Um, there is a Whirlpool edition, uh, uh, and that's it. So I, I don't think um, I don't. Know. So anyway, and then I didn't even have all the all the ingredients. So the colour for this is an EBC of twenty nine. So I'm thinking they use the dark crystal malt where I only had medium um, so I've put a bit extra black malt in and they use target hops in the boil or he does and I didn't have any target hops so I'm going to use Willamette and then Styrian Golding hops for the Whirlpool I didn't have any of them either so I'm going to use Fuggles so everyone loves Fuggles, don't they? So it's not going to be exactly like Directors, but it's going to be pretty close. So let's tell you what's in it. We've got 85.8% of Golden Promise, 6.7% of Medium Crystals, Crystal 150, and I'm putting in 1.5% of black malt. Now I've gone and put that in with all the greens. So I don't know whether I should have, maybe I should have left that and just used it for the last 15 minutes to get some colour, but it's in there now and it's mixed in. This recipe also calls for um, some white sugar. So that'll be going in in the last five minutes. Um, uh, like I said, the hops are Willamette um, 33 IBUs, basically, and then the Fuggles at um, 80 degree Whirlpool for 20 minutes. So going for um, the best bit of water profile, and um, I haven't had time to make a starter, so um, I've Yesterday I kegged um, a pale ale, so we, uh, I'm going to use the yeast cake of that, which is USO4. So I'm also mashing in at 69, uh, so it's going to be a nice full bodied beer, but then we've got that uh, bit of sugar just to up the ABV, which is, uh, well you know what I do, I drop that a bit. so. It is down to, when I find it, what the bloody hell is it? 
4.3 instead of 5%. So, it's going to be beer at the end, isn't it? So, uh, so EBC, bitterness 33, colour supposed to be 29, I think I've got 26 with all that black malt. So we'll see how it comes out. Anyway, enough waffling. Um, water's on to, uh, or the liquor is on, heating up for the strike water, strike liquor. And um, grains are all weighed up. And uh, I'll do a bit of uh, brew day footage and then we'll have a taster. I'll see you then. Quick update. It's going to be one of those days. Uh, I've no Willamette. I'm supposed to have 200 grams, but I haven't got any. So, but I've got plenty of Fuggles. So, Fuggles now going in for the boil. Uh, 60 minute, uh, 33 IBUs. And uh, Whirlpool edition is now going to be East Kent Goldings. So, there we are. Anyway, back to it. Fifteen minutes, and then the pH test. Oh man, I'll tell you what, this smells good. Look at that, what a beauty. I like the colour. Just coming up to the boil. Smells bloody fantastic. Tastes good as well. I've tried some. So I'm glad I put the black malt in at the start. Just coming up to the boil. So before I put the hops in, this is the colour. Now that is how I remember directors. That sort of colour. Fantastic. Right. Gonna put the hops in. Right. There we go. Uh, 74 grams of Fuggles. That's that in. I was a bit uh, pissed off because we were aiming for 10.35 pre-boil gravity. I've only got 10.31. And uh, even though I've got two more litres of uh, work than planned, and uh, and it gave me a, a, a mash efficiency of um, 74% so I was a bit pissed off about that but then I realised got to put the sugar in after so that's going to uh, up it a bit so obviously it's not in now um, so yeah hopefully we're on target 50 minutes up. So, we're going to put in the uh, yeast nutrients and protoflop. And I'm going also, I, uh, I was a bit worried about the sugar just dropping and uh, just collecting around the burners and all that. So I've got some wort out and I dissolved the sugar in the hot wort. So that's going to go in now as well. There we go. That's that. Right, 10 minutes left, and then we'll start cooling it down. Right, we'll get some sanitizer in the plate heat exchanger.
There we go. So that can sanitise for a bit. Time's up. So that's it. Let's turn the elements off. And take them out. Uh, I've got a sanitised lid, it's going to go over there in a minute, Alexa, volume 3, <clears throat> and I'll just quickly set up the plate heat exchanger and then we'll come back. Right then, real time cooling down to 80 degrees, water is going on now. Half four. that one on the plate heat exchanger There we go, it's just going there. So, that's it. No, that's it. Fantastic. Right, so we'll just chuck in. I've got nine grams of, uh, what is it? East Kent Goldings. There we go. Nine grams, you probably didn't see that. Okay, that's that. Lid back on and to set the timer for 20 minutes. Right, so here's the yeast cake from the pale ale I made. Uh, so I've turned the pump off and all the taps. Let's open that, put that there. Open only one tap, put the pump back on. So that's coming out now at 20 degrees. There she is, all tucked up, and we're at 19.6. It's because I've got the door open. No, no. See you in a couple of weeks. Well, well, but we finished at um, 10.40, so three points under. So, uh, and that's it there. And, uh, of course, very malty. We'll see what that's like in a minute when we do the taste test. Cheers. So uh, this is the directors, Courage Directors. It's been a week in the keg. And uh, hang on. No, wrong way. Always do it the wrong way. Anyway. To be fair, I've only had a few sips and I just topped this glass up. 
uh, and I thought I would do this review straight away because I'm very impressed. It was a bit of a bloody disaster. And it's only come out at 3.7% instead of the original was 4.8. I was aiming for 4.3. Come out of 3.7. Didn't have the hops. I had to swap the hops out on brew day. Um, and I think I put Willamette. Oh, I put Fuggles. Should have been Willamette. All of the boil and then Fuggles. Didn't have Willamette. So I put Fuggles in all of the boil and East Kent Gold in at um, a 20 minute hop stand. Um, so, and I tell you what, I'm very impressed. It's bloody lovely. I should enjoy drinking this one. I think I mashed in at 69. It's got the body. And I know I put a bit of white sugar in, which is to the recipe. And, um, but it's got a nice bit of body and uh, um, it's got a nice bit of maltiness to it and you know, that English hop um, flavour that you would expect from an English bitter. So uh, all in all, I think it's bloody good. So give it a go and uh, see how you get on. But I tell you what, I don't think this is going to last long. This is bloody lovely. It's one of them lawnmower beers, but it's bloody winter time, so I won't be using the lawnmower. And so, give it a bash. All right, take care. Cheers, me dears. <laughs>